Hello and welcome to MT4. I am Professor Watts and I'm just going to do a short video tour of the class to help you get started. So here you see a welcome announcement and each week or multiple times a week I have a new announcement there so the announcements are good things to check. Please ignore any dates you see in this video because I use the same video for each session and so they might not pertain to your course. So we can minimize the announcements here and then we can see the rest of the course. Um, you'll notice across the left hand side there are some um, links and across the top are almost the same links so it doesn't matter if you click on the forums here or the forums here. So course is always just a way to get back to the home page of your course. You can see that it didn't take us anywhere else because we're already there. Messages is a place to go to send a new message. It's sort of an email system built into MyOpenMath. So you can send a new message to either the instructor or another classmate. And um, they'll get a notification of that when they log in. To get back to where I was, I can click on Course. Or I could have clicked the MT4 breadcrumb right up here in the blue. Um, area. <laughs> um, so you see messages is here and here that they take you to the same place. Same with forums. Forums will take you to all of the forums of the course so it's a quick way to, to get to the forums. A calendar is a good resource to see what you have due. So it'll show you all the assignments and due dates and you can click on them and Get a little bit more information and you can go directly to the assignment with the links here. So this time I'm going to get back to where I was by clicking the MT4 breadcrumb. And gradebook I can't click into because I'm not a student but that'll show you all of your grades. Alright so do this first is where you started and inside there you'll watch this video of course and then read your syllabus, take your syllabus quiz. Uh, post a short bio of yourself so that we can get to know each other. And entering answers in mom is a really important assignment um, to make sure that you know how to put your answers in. I hear students complain sometimes that they had the right answer but they didn't know how to put it in mom. But doing this assignment will help avoid those problems. Similarly with the using the forum and mom homework assignment, we need a way to be able to ask questions and, and answer them and the forums are how we do that in this class. So it's really easy to post the question because there's a link, a direct link to do that and I'll show you that later. Um, but it, you can get extra credit by replying to a question and when you do that you'll want to use the equation editor so that the math um, looks nicer. Like you can see right here, I have 4x to the second power plus 3x plus 5. If I put that in the equation editor, then it makes this exponent an exponent and whatnot. So it's good to you learn how to use the equation editor so that you can um, show those skills off when you are answering questions for others that I've posted and getting extra credit for them. And to show you what I mean, if we go to the entering answers and mom assignment, for instance, if you don't, if you have a question about any homework problem in the course, you click on post to this forum, it automatically puts the question in, and all you have to click is post thread. And usually there's a checkbox here to post anonymously in case you don't want your name known. All right. I'm going to go back now to course information. This folder has all sorts of information in it. Um, math tutoring, course objectives, Sunday night office hours. I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, office hours, my online office hours are just as good as coming to my office because we'll have a space to ask questions and I can work out problems for you. I use my webcam and microphone so that you can see me and I can talk to you. <clears throat> Here's information about our textbooks. 
Now you don't need to download these or order printed copies because I have them all integrated into the course, but they are there if you would like them. There's a segment on how to use the course, instructor information, testing information, gradebook information, course navigation is the text version of this video, uh, accessibility, technical help, and then there's three forums here. There's one, um, any questions about the course that are not related to uh, homework, you can click on this to post those questions. If you find a mistake, like a uh, due date doesn't match up with the syllabus, then you can post it. If you're the first one to post it here, you get extra credit. And then some students find some cool things out there on the internet on um, that help them with the course. So if you find anything like that, you can post that in the help resources. And Netiquette is a, a guide of how to be polite in an online course. So lots of information and course information that you should read carefully through. <clears throat> and course is broken up into four weeks because that's all we have. And uh, each one has, um, well, there's a thing, important thing about calculators that you are allowed to use calculators in this course. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you definitely should um, because the calculator will make things so much easier for you and avoid little mistakes. Now I recommend the TI-30XX because that one has, uh, it can do fractions, but any graphing calculator can do fractions and the Casios are really good too. So just make sure your calculator can handle fractions. So we'll have the objectives, your reading assignment, so you click on this and it brings up your textbook right there so you don't have to have that anywhere. Um, it's going to be right in the course for you and not everybody learns well by reading so there's a list of videos, a place to practice where it's not graded and then a graded homework assignment. And then the forum is, um, I have to put that in there but you don't need to click on this. If you have a homework question about week one um, you know, say you had problems with number 20, you would just click on post this to forum and so you can post anonymously if you want. All you have to do is click post thread. So um, the forum is there in case you have a question that you can't use that link for, um, but otherwise you would just do that. So that's about how they look except in week two you have a midterm quiz. So that's the only thing different there. And then the last week is your review and final. So there's no new material, just important information about the final, which has to be proctored and um, some practice review to get you ready for the final and the actual final exam. And then there's also the course evaluation. You'll get a, um, a survey or a, a student evaluation from, from TCC. And if you take a picture of it and upload it here, um, you get extra credit in the course survey um, is my own survey about the course that you get extra credit for doing. That's about it. But if there's anything I haven't covered in this video, please post it to the questions um, Ask Professor Watts forum and I will get back to you on it.